hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber a warm welcome back this video is the precursor to a number of videos i will release during the course of the year where i'll be talking about the hierarchy of various luxury items so for example the hierarchy of designer handbags or watches this video as i've mentioned is the precursor and i will talk about um the levels of luxury, what they are, and the dynamics around them, and how they affect your perception, and in turn, um, how you navigate and buy your luxury items. I'm Aniswi Sagonda, and I manage a luxury lifestyle management business in London. My content is largely educationally focused and geared towards people who are typically new to money or keen to explore alternate mid lux or super brands that are a little under the radar but still heavily weighted on quality. Erwin Ramberg is a leading equity research analyst in the luxury and sporting goods world. An equity research analyst, for those not in the know, is somebody who performs financial analysis and makes recommendations on whether to buy, hold or sell an investment to investors. So when it comes to somebody who is very well placed in the luxury world to know how it works intimately, it doesn't really get any better than Erwin Ramberg. And a few years ago, um, 2015, if I remember correctly, um, in his first, uh, the first book he published, he talked about uh, the Bling Dynasty and defined the different levels of luxury. And he has a model, which I'll insert, that has been flying around for years where people have modified it, but they always make reference to it because it's a very good guide when it comes to the different level, levels of luxury and just appreciating what they are and how they work. The base of the pyramid, your everyday luxury, is where you find the highest number of luxury products and services. As you go up the pyramid, the quantity of products and services decreases. And you'll also find with each level, you are spending more or the, the price of the products goes up with each level. And as you go up again, you will find that the points of sale decrease. So the number of stores selling these items decreases starting from the bottom your everyday luxury these are your cheap quick easy purchases you don't think too deeply about them especially relative to the rest of the levels of the pyramid it's uh, frequent uh, possibly every day maybe a few times a week think of things such as coffee your designer fragrances which you use maybe every day you have your champagne your imported beers and wines you also have things like your restaurant meals um, either takeaway on the way home or you just go out for dinner or now with the pandemic in the united kingdom you're finding a lot of the high-end restaurants as a way of staying afloat they are now uh, producing their meals as DIY meal kits which you can buy and you produce the same restaurant quality meals in the comfort of your home so a Saturday night, Saturday night treat and then you also have entertainment in that uh, section so think of things such as your musicals a theater production a play also have uh, a box office uh, subscription to watch a, a boxing match a high profile boxing match so it's, it's stuff that's quick it's easy it's uh, competitively priced around the hundred pound mark. You enjoy it in that moment. The next level up is your affordable luxury. So it's not as uh, frequently purchased. You don't buy it every day, um, but you don't think too deeply about it and you don't necessarily save as you would with the higher level. So think of things such as your sunglasses, uh, your designer sunglasses or um, uh, your high-end brands with their entry-level ranges. So Tiffany & Co is a perfect example with their sterling silver jewellery, which is around 250-300 pound mark, which is the typical spend for your affordable luxury. Then the next level up is your accessible core. Accessible core, you're spending about 250, 300, going up to around a thousand, just over a thousand pounds. So between that, 250, 300, and a thousand pounds. And you're looking at your designer clothing, you have um, your accessories, so your bags, your shoes, your belts. Um, think of brands such as Todd's, you have Prada, you have Miu Miu, Red Valentino, you have Chloe, you have Gian Vito Rossi, Christian Louboutin, Aquazura, Manolo. Blanik, the big shoe brand, so all very comfortably priced within that 250 to just over a thousand. 
Then the next level up is your premium core. So premium core and the next level up and the level above, you tend to find it tends to be your handbags, your uh, watches and fine jewelry in that category. A lot of that in those top three. So premium core, your spend is typically 12, 1500 going through to about three and a half, four thousand pounds. So between those two boundaries and it tends to be your watch brand. So think of Rolex, you have Omega, you have Cartier, you have in there as well, your handbag, Saint Laurent, you have Tom Ford, you have um, Gucci, you have Fendi, you have Givenchy. And then the next level up is your super premium or what's called super brands in the United Kingdom. So your spend is typically four, four and a half thousand pounds going right up to about 45, 50,000 pounds. So think of your, um, your, your fashion luxury brands very comfortably in there. You have Hermes, you have Chanel, you have Moina, you have Bottega Veneta. You also have your big watch brands. So think of Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, Breguet, IWC. And then the next level above, your ultra hand, ultra high end. So we're talking 45, 50,000 pounds plus um, your big jewelry firms, for example. You have um, your royal warranted companies, Bentley and Skinner. You also have Gerard and then you have Graf. What you will find coming back to the bottom again, your um, everyday luxury is that different variables, dynamics are at play that influence um, buyers at each level and why they go for something. What variables are they sensitive to? So for example, looking at your everyday luxury and affordable luxury together and the level below that, which is your, your fast fashion. So it's your mass market. So relative to everything, to the other levels on this pyramid, your everyday and your affordable luxury would be mass market. It's, it's, it has a much bigger audience and they're very much influenced by the price. So you're going to, for example, an off license, you see 10 bottles of wine around the same price. One is on promotion. You'll go for the cheaper one. It's all about the price. You know, the quality is roughly the same, but the price is what you're influenced by. First and foremost, it's price, price, price. You want a coffee on the go. You thinking there are three, four places to go to who does the best coffee for under five pounds. Then you go for that particular brand. It's the price. And then moving up to the next level, accessible core. With accessible core, this is where your spend is 250, 300, going through to about just over a thousand pounds. So for example, your shoe brands, you are wanting to buy a pair of designer shoes. You're very much affected by the price. Um, do you go for Louboutin at 600 or do you go for Gian Vito Rossi at possibly 500, 550? It's just a little cheaper, but it's, it's a short quality. You know you're getting a good product, but it's the price that you are influenced by first and foremost before you consider the quality. It's price and then quality with your accessible core and then the next level up your premium courts other way around it's very much about the quality before the price so premium uh, core think of brands such as your rolex rolex is is well known for its quality it's a short quality people know what you're getting when it comes to rolex and you're buying more than just the quality it's the prestige uh, the reputation associated with the brand. So it's the uh, the quality first and foremost before you consider the price. And you're a price taker. Rolex doesn't go on sale. You just pay what you're told to pay, but it's the quality that you're buying. Rolex, Cartier, Omega. And you also look at things like the investment potential, potential especially with Omega. You know it's going to hold its value. So it's a quality product that will hold its value and make you money in the long run if you choose the right product. And then the next level with your super premium, it's quality all the way. Quality, quality, quality. Um, price doesn't even factor into it. You're paying for the craftsmanship. You're paying for the phenomenal quality of the material used and in turn the performance of the product. And then when you go to the ultra high end and the bespoke, it's, it's open ended. Price, quality is irrelevant. It's about the whole package from the craftsmanship to the quality of the material used the prestige associated with that particular product with the brand you're buying into the heritage of the brand the exclusivity it's the whole package and then you just pay the price which is irrelevant because you're getting exactly what you want price doesn't matter this video has been quite intense compared to a lot of my 
previous videos, but I felt it was really important in terms of just laying a foundation for my hierarchy videos to follow. It's applicable, the information is applicable to any video that you watch online where somebody's talking about luxury. It just helps you in terms of allocating brands um, according to levels, what's important, what are you buying, what are you getting, what's the trade-off and so forth. But I'm going to go into a lot more specific detail when I look at individual products, as I mentioned, whether it's bags, watches, or whatever it is I'm, I'm focused on in that particular video. But if there's something you'd like to know in a little more detail, as always, let me know in the comments down below. But if this video was of value, do share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.